Well, exactly one year after Slovak Nationals, we are here with Phil Heath. Many things happen uh, during that year. How do you feel about that? How does it uh, affect your life? Oh, well, obviously last year, you know, I was number two in the world, and then now I'm number one, so it feels awesome. Yeah, many Slovak fans were uh, really excited that you have been there and, and they uh, have uh, their thumbs crossed for you. So uh, would you like to say something to them? Well, definitely just want to say hello to all you guys over in Slovakia. And, you know, I had a great time in Bratislava and I really hope that uh, you continue to support the sport of bodybuilding. But also I hope to actually come back and uh, guest pose again and meet all of you guys one more time. and you know, and share stories, share a laugh, you know, do some training seminars and all that good stuff. So I just want to say thank you guys for supporting me and uh, hopefully I can win another title and come back as the two-time Mr. Olympia champion. Oh, we hope so, yeah. certainly. Uh, Phil, I would like to ask you one question. Uh, you are very young in the pro bodybuilding career, but how does your training change? What did you learn from beginning till uh, the top level you are now at? I realized that it was more about um, how I conduct myself professionally, meaning uh, making sure that when I do these type of events such as today, traveling a lot, that I'm always organized. And then I also know how to deal with stress because being uh, one of the top guys, being the top guy, you have a lot of stress and high expectations of yourself yeah. and sometimes you begin to doubt yourself, kind of like what we had talked about before. Exactly. And you know, your mind can play very good tricks on you and stuff and you have to be very, very focused and very mentally tough. So I would say going into the sport initially, you know, I may have been a little bit less patient and uh, you know, I was, I was very new to it, so I didn't know how to handle it. But as I learned and I grew up to be older, you become a little wiser, and then uh, you, you really understand how to deal with, you know, stress. Because right now, if I have too much stress, I can't compete at a high level. So that's the biggest thing that I could advise everyone is to learn how to deal with different stress levels, making sure that your family is good, your friends, at work, all that stuff doesn't conflict with the gym. When you're inside the gym, nothing else matters for that one hour or two hours. And then once you're done, you can go stress. But while you're in the gym, nothing else matters. You have to be the best you can be in there, and that's it. Phil, what would be the number one supplement for you would you recommend to average guy? I would say average guy, you know, really anyone should be taking a good whey protein. You know, for me, I take the Nitrotech whey pre, you know, premium protein. Um, you know, secondly, I'd probably say some type of pre-workout or post-workout formula with good creatine supplement in it. But uh, number one would probably be the protein. So is, is there any new coming uh, supplement that catches your attention and uh, you would recommend it to try? Uh, right now, the newer core, I've been taking that and the nano stem. Those two by far are like my favorite, you know, so far. You know, good pre-workout supplement. Uh, the nano stem has a ton of citrulline malate in it that, you know, allows me to get a good nitric oxide pump. And uh, everyone wants to feel pumped in the gym, so that's definitely something that I like. Exactly. Well, you're really busy, uh, and I would like to conclude with, uh, let's say, 30 or seconds or one minute. You can say anything you want. So okay. I would like to give to you as a Mr. Olympia, as a spokesperson for bodybuilding, time, and uh, you can say anything you would like to say. All right. Well, first of all, I just want to say thanks for watching. Um, you know, all you guys in, in Slovakia, thank you for uh, your hospitality when I was out there. I didn't get to say it enough. And I uh, really, I do really hope that I can come back out, you know, and, and obviously as your reigning Mr. Olympia champion. Just want to say thanks uh, to Team Muscle Tech, uh, Weeder AMI, you know, Flex Magazine, Muscle and Fitness. Uh, I know you guys may uh, read the Flex Magazines over in uh, Slovakia. We so, do. So, we have so, Slovak edition. Oh, oh, good. So, so for sure, like all those articles that you see, I actually help write those myself. So you know what those training programs are. Those are actually what I do. So no but, bullshit. Yeah, that, exactly. Right? Exactly. It's all, it's all me. So. So just want to say thank you. I, I can't say it enough, and uh, keep supporting the sport, and uh, hopefully support me too. So we'll see you. Phil, we thank you for being such a great bodybuilder and such a great representative of our sport. Right, thanks, man. Thanks, we man. wish you best. All right, bro. Thank you. Cool, thanks, Boris. Thank you.